This video will talk about the warbler mean and standard deviation calculation. This is what we want to calculate. The population mean mu is going to equal the sum of all y values of all the probabilities of y. y in this case being the probability that we see a warbler. And so in this case, we can sum all of them and multiply them by the probabilities. So in this case, mu is going to equal 0 times 0 0.6 plus 1 times 0 0.1 plus 4 times 0 0.3. Remember, we have the chance of seeing 0, 1, or 4 birds with a probability of 0 0.6, 0 0.1, and 0 0.3. And so when we calculate that out, we do the sums and the multiplications, we get 1.3. So we can say on average, we would expect to see 1.3 birds when we go out to find them. The next calculation is the standard deviation. Uh, well, before we calculate the standard deviation, we'll calculate the variance sigma squared. And that's going to equal the sum of all the values y minus the mean mu we just calculated, squared, and then we multiply them again by the probabilities of observing each value y. So here we can uh, do the same thing. Our sigma squared value is going to equal 0 minus 1.3 squared times 0 0.6 plus 1 minus 1.3 squared times 0 0.1 plus 4 minus 1.3 squared times 0 0.3. That will get us the calculation for the variance. So when we do that, we get uh, sigma squared equal to 3.2098. Uh, and that is our variance. Now, the variance isn't always meaningful. Uh, and so sometimes we'll want to take the square root of it to find the standard deviation. Uh, so the square root of 3.2098 is going to equal 1.7916, and that's our standard deviation. So there we have it. We've got the standard deviation uh, of 1.79, and we've got the mean value as well of 1.3. So this means on an average, we could expect to see 1.3 warblers with the standard deviation of 1.7916.